Fix the hair. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another fantastic video here on a cloudy Thursday morning. Friends at home, we have a very special video today. We have some some uh, friends of the classroom here with us today that um, most of you know quite, quite well. So we're going to start off today with a quick introduction. Um, first up, we have Mrs. Walker. Mrs. Walker, how are you doing today? I'm just awesome, Mr. H. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. I am happy on this Thursday morning. All right. We also have Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, how are you doing today? I am great today. Awesome. awesome. How are you doing? Good, good, good. All right, friends at home. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to show you what we have in store for you today. All right. So this is what our schedule looks like today, friends. We are going to start off with our calendar. From there, we're going to jump into the question of the day. And then we're going to go on to a show and tell. We're going to wrap up Mrs. Labuke's video that she started sharing us sharing with us last week. And then we're going to jump into a Jeopardy challenge, a one on one challenge between Mrs. Bailey and Miss Is Walker. And then we're going to wrap it up with a quick goodbye. Now, friends at home, as I do always at this portion of the video, this is your friendly reminder that these videos are meant for participation. So feel free at home to pause the video and answer questions along and participate along with us. If you are a caregiver watching with a student at home, same sort of message. Feel free to pause the video, encourage that participation throughout the video. All right, friends, let's jump in to our calendar. Yippee! It's June 2020. Let's make a calendar. All right, friends, it is indeed June 2020. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome. All right, Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, do you know what the date is today? I think it's Thursday, June 11th. <laughs> Thursday, <laughs> June 11th. Let's find out. Great job. Today is... Thursday, June 11th, 2020. Awesome. And if today is Thursday, June 11th, 2020, um, Mrs. Walker, what will tomorrow be? Oh, uh, tomorrow would be Friday, June 12th, 2020. Right on. Yes, tomorrow will be Friday, June 12th, 2020. And if today is Thursday, June 11th, 2020, Mrs. Bailey, what was yesterday? Yesterday was June 10th, 2020. June 10th, yes, Wednesday, June 10th, over here, right on. So as Thursday, stated, it was Thursday, 11th. June 11th. Great job. All right, so this is the opportunity in our group where we discuss some special things that have happened in June or that might be happening coming on up. Um, I remind you, for friends at home, we do encourage you to look at your own calendar and kind of figure out what's happening that's exciting for you. So, for example, without naming names, we had a special birthday in our group yesterday. You know who you are. Um, also coming on up, we have very special days on the 24th and 25th of June. Those are dates are Windsor Park Collegiate's graduation dates. So we have a couple friends that are going to be participating in graduation days. So those are very special days coming up. Um, Mrs. Bailey, anything special in June coming up for you that we should highlight? There is a very special date in June coming up for me. My son will be graduating. I don't know what date it is, so let's <laughs> say the 22nd for now. <laughs> All right, the 22nd. We will Yes, June is the time for graduation, so it is an exciting time of the year. And Mrs. Walker, anything special in June for you? Well, I have a birthday coming up in June. That's special for me. Um, also, I see that Saturday, June 20th, 2020, is the first day of summer. 
Mm hmm. That is very special. And Mrs. Yeah. Walker, which which date is your, the birthday? My birthday? Yeah. It's Friday, June 26, 2020. Friday, 26. Very Happy cool. Birthday. Happy Thank birthday. Thank you. Thank you That's very awesome. much. And I guess the other thing to note, friends at home, is that on Tuesday, June 30th, is technically the last day of school. So that'll be the last day that Mr. H, Mrs. Penner, uh, Mrs. Bailey, Mrs. Walker, the last day that we will be um, attending school for us, right? So then we're going to take that summer break as we normally do, and then we'll be back to see you in the fall. So yes, that's the other day to kind of remember. Might feel a little bit different this year, but <laughs> that's okay. All right, let's pick a nice picture here. Ah, look at that. Rainbows and flowers. I like it. All right, folks, that is the calendar. So let's take a look at our schedule and see what's next. We are going to check off that calendar. And we are going to head on in to the question of the day. And again, while we bring that up, folks, we do remind you that even though your name may not be on the question of the day wheel today, that we do encourage you to participate at home as well and answer along with us. So who's in the group today? Not a big wheel today, but that's okay. We have Mr. H, we have Mrs. Bailey, and we have Mrs. Walker. Awesome, so three names on the wheel today. We need to put down what our question is. What is your favorite food was the last question it looks like. So, so my question of the day today for you friends at home too is what are you looking forward to this summer? Okay, so summer months are on the way and to be frank, we've already had some summer days. So what are you looking forward to this summer? All right. So let's spin that wheel and see who's going to answer the question today first. Oh, that wheel was fast. <laughs> it is, it is. All right, it looks like it's Mrs. Walker. Mrs. Walker, what are you looking forward to this summer? Oh, oh, that's a great question. I am looking forward to taking lots of long hikes in the woods. Right on, lots of long hikes in the woods. That's awesome. All right, let's find out who's next. All right, looks like it's me, Mr. H. What am I looking forward to this summer? Mm, so I mentioned it a little bit earlier to our friends in the chat here, but Mr. H actually just, just purchased a cabin. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to getting out there when we get possession of it and starting to, I guess, get to work. Cabins are a lot of work, so Mr. H will be uh, working on that. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I think I think we know who's last here. Let's see here. All righty, Mrs. Bailey, Mrs. Bailey, what are you looking forward to this summer? Well, I am looking forward to my yard. I like to garden and I have lots of flowers that are just getting ready to bloom. I planted a whole bunch of flowers, so I'm going to enjoy my backyard and all the beautiful scenery that comes with it. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's great. Those are great answers. So friends at home, we remind you, that feel free to answer along. What are you looking forward to this summer, right? Are you gonna be spending some time outdoors? Are you looking forward to maybe a trip, right? Maybe seeing some family, maybe seeing some friends. What are you looking forward to? Maybe even some of you might be attending a, a summer camp, right? So think long and hard about your summer and what you are looking forward to. Right on. So let's go back to our schedule here. We are gonna check off question of the day. And we're going to jump right into show and tell. So friends, show and tell, we started a two part series from Miss LeBuke. She sent us a very long video, but it was great. So we're going to show you part two today. Um, it's a reminder, this video actually, she does a great job, Miss LeBuke, of pausing and letting you answer some questions, right? But if you need a little bit of extra time, again, hit that pause button because she does do a great job of asking some great questions. So we're going to watch along side her for now let's pull it up here and we're gonna watch mrs labuke's 
part two. Here we go. Welcome back to Counting Colors, part two. We are about to find out what color is next. Remember when you are reading this book, pause the video when you need to find what you're looking for. It's blue. Can you find these blue things? One, parakeet. Two big dinosaurs. Three pairs of jeans. Five sweat tops. Those could also be called sweatshirts. Five bottles. Six metal robots. Seven butterflies. Eight motorcycles. Nine sweet blueberries. Ten fish. This was a great page. I wonder what's next. Hmm, I wonder what color it could be. Let's find out. Turn the page. It's Mrs. Lebuke's favorite color, pink. What's your favorite color? All right, let's get back to it. Can you find these pink things? One perfume bottle, two sippy cups, three cute piglets, four pretty daisies, five flamingos, Six sparkly shoes. Seven rain boots. Eight little cupcakes. Nine bouncy balls. Last but not least, ten elephants. All right, now that we're all done that one, let's move on to the next page. You know what to do. Turn the page. It's purple. Our school color is purple. Awesome. Can you find these purple things? One tricycle, two sparkly recorders, three Lavender bunches. Lavender is a flower. Four pens. Five presents. Six pretty dresses. Seven bunches of grapes. Eight onions. Nine patterned socks. And last but not least, 10 balloons. What was your favorite thing to look for on this page? Mine was the presents. I wondered what was inside the boxes. I think we're gonna end right here for now. There are four more colors that we haven't explored yet in this book. Can you guess what they are? You'll have to come back and read, find, and count in part three. All right, so that was Mrs. Labuke with another edition. It sounds like she's got a part three on the way maybe too. Holy moly, Mrs. Labuke's putting in work. So that was great. Um, so again, Mrs. Review did try to give a little pause, but um, you're probably going to need a little bit extra time. So make sure you click that pause button 
um, and, and try and find those pictures alongside Mrs. Labuke. That was fantastic. So let's check out our schedule. That was today's show and tell. Thank you to Miss Labuke if you are watching. And we're going to jump right into a special edition of Jeopardy. So today's special edition will pit Mrs. Walker versus Mrs. Bailey. It's a one-on-one -on -one challenge. I will be your host as always, friends at home. And again, friends at home, what's great about Jeopardy is that we are going to flash the question or flash the picture. And again, same thing that Mrs. Lebuke just did with you. Answer along with us. We have a kind of a theme today. Mr. H put together today's Jeopardy with a little bit of of a theme. So let's start off and review the categories. So as many of you know, Mrs. Walker is our physiotherapist, so she helps us stay healthy. She kind of takes a look at our bodies and makes sure that they're healthy and progressing. So category one is, is this a healthy choice? So that might be uh, uh, Mrs. Walker especially. We also have two categories about WH questions, which I know Mrs. Bailey is an expert on. So she might, well, we're gonna have to, you know, challenge her there. So again, these are going to be who, what, when, where, or even how questions. Okay. So we flash those uh, questions. Again, if you need a little bit extra time, feel free to pause and answer those questions along with us. And as always, because it is such a favorite for our friends at home, we do have a name that character category because, well, it's the most popular category we have when we always play Jeopardy. <laughs> All right. So Team one today will be Mrs. Walker. Welcome to the show, Mrs. Walker. Thank you so much, Mr. H. <laughs> and team two will be Mrs. Bailey. Welcome to the show, Mrs. Bailey. Thank you. Good to be here. <laughs> All right. So why don't we start off with Mrs. Walker? Which category would you like and for how many points? Ooh, I'll take healthy choice for 200 points. 200. So. The question is, Mrs. Walker, is this a healthy choice? Are fruits and vegetables a healthy choice? Yes, Mr. H. Fruits and vegetables are a very healthy choice. Very healthy. Yes, we encourage lots of fruits and vegetables at school with us. I know sometimes they're not our favorite, but look at all the variety of vegetables that are in that picture, right? So if you don't like some vegetables, there's a good chance you might find a vegetable that you do like, right? So it's important that we keep trying different things, different foods to find out what we do like because they are so healthy, right? Good job. Oh, the answer is yes, that is a healthy choice. Good job, Mrs. Walker. All right, to Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, which category would you like? I'm gonna take WH questions for 200. 200. All right. What is our school called? Oh, I know this one. <laughs> Windsor Park Collegiate. Windsor Park Collegiate. Yes. Way to go, Mrs. Bailey. That's 200 points for you. All right. Back to Mrs. Walker. Mrs. Walker, which category would you like? Oh, why don't I try WH Pictures for 300 points? All right, so WH pictures, folks, it, they're all actually the same picture. I just have a different question for each one. So, so how many points was that, Mrs. Walker? I'll try 300, Mr. 300. H. Okay, 300. Mrs. Walker, what is the boy in the blue shirt doing? What is the boy in the blue shirt doing? Hmm, the boy in the blue shirt is cutting paper dolls with scissors. You got it, yes, the boy. I asked, what is he doing? And he is cutting, great job. Yay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Way to go, all right. Back to Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, which category would you like? I'm gonna do WH Pictures for 400. For 400. Mrs. Bailey. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> So, Mrs. Bailey, your question is, how many students are here? One, two, three, four, five, six students. Good job. Way to go. Six students. Right on, right on. All right, back to Mrs. Walker. Mrs. Walker, which category would you like? Well, I think I'll try WH questions for 400, Mr. H. 
400, let's check it out. For 400, what, what do you use to brush your teeth? Oh, oh, I know this, I know this. We use a toothbrush to brush our teeth. A toothbrush, yes. So lots of our friends are working on toothbrushing at school. We're gonna, actually, as I say that, we're gonna, well, we might have to think about that goal for next year in class, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. Good job, Mrs. Walker. All right, back to Mrs. Bailey. Which category would you like? I'm going to try name that character for 200. For 200 points, Mrs. Bailey. Who's this guy? <gasps> My favorite, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny, right on. Good job. All right, back to Mrs. Walker. Mrs. Walker, which category would you like? Okay, I'm going to go back to healthy choice for 400, Mr. H. All right. Mrs. Walker, is this a healthy choice? Mr. H, that is a healthy choice. Yes. Stretching is a healthy choice. Stretching, yes. So she's doing a big stretch. Yes, that's a great healthy choice. And Mrs. Walker, correct me if I'm wrong, you help a lot of our friends at school with some stretching, correct? Yes, I do, Mr. H. And stretching is very important for our bones and our muscles. Yes, yes. So always thinking about stretching, even over the summer when Mrs. Walker and other adult friends aren't quite around. Remember, try your best to do as many stretches as possible. All right, back to Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, which category would you like? I'm going to try name that character for 400. For 400. Who's this guy, Mrs. Bailey? Donald Duck. Donald Duck, way to go, way to go. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, back to Mrs. Walker. Mrs. Walker, which category would you like? I'm going to try healthy choice again for 500 points. Whoa, big money. So this is an interesting one. Oh, I guess the first question is, what is she doing? And is that a healthy choice? Mr. H, that young lady is sleeping, and that is a healthy choice because we all need to get enough rest every night. Mm -hmm. I agree, yes. Sometimes we don't think about sleep as a healthy choice, but it is very, very important, yes. When we think about healthy things, we often think about moving and, and going to phys ed class and eating healthy, but certainly we need to remember also to get lots of good sleep, so that's a good one. All right, good answer. All right, Mrs. Bailey, what's next for you? Let's do WH questions for five, please. Five. All right. Who is our phys ed teacher? Oh, my gosh. Mr. <laughs> Ida. Ida. Oh, you're so close. <laughs> oh. Miss, you're very close. It, it don't, it don't. In, yes. In, in, huh? In dome, you were right. In dome. I knew it was something like that. <laughs> Mr. Indome is our phys ed teacher. Way to go. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Indome is a fantastic phys ed teacher, and we look forward to seeing him in the fall for sure. All right, Mrs. Walker, back to you. Okay, I'm going to take WH pictures for 500, Mr. H. 500. Okay, here we go. What is is the boy doing with the stripe? I mean, what is the boy with the striped shirt doing? He is playing a pretend game with an airplane and a truck. Right, so he's playing with a truck and a plane. Way to go, team one. Awesome job. All right, back to Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, which category would you like? Well, this is a competitive game, so I got to go name that character for five. For 500. Mrs. Bailey, who's this guy? That is Aladdin. That is Aladdin. Yes, yes. Very good. Oh, it is a tight match. Holy yeah, moly. I know. I All know. right. Mrs. Walker, Mrs. Walker, which category would you like? I'll take healthy choice for 300, Mr. H. For 300 points. Is this a healthy choice? You know, Mr. H, unfortunately, that is not a healthy choice. 
It's yeah. okay for once in a while as a treat, but it's basically not a very healthy choice at all. Yes. So this is a reminder that we often have to give at school as well that it's okay sometimes to have chocolate and candies, but certainly not the healthiest thing you can eat. So we do try to do only eat it sometimes. I agree. Way to go. All right. Back to Mrs. Bailey. Which category would you like, Mrs. Bailey? Name that character for 300, please. For 300 points. Who is this fellow? Franklin. Franklin. Good job. Oh, my goodness. This is a tight match. All right. Mrs. Walker, which category would you like? I think I'm going to take WH questions for 300, Mr. Oh. H. <laughs> Where does our class go swimming? Ooh. Where is the question? Mr. H, our class goes swimming at Margaret Grant Swimming Pool. You are correct. And that's a great question for you because you're often there. That's yeah, right, Mr. H. Often there swimming with us. Margaret Grant Pool. Way to go. All right. Back to Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, which category would you like? I have to do WH pictures for <laughs> 200. <laughs> All right. For 200 points, Mrs. Bailey, where are these children? Where are they? Well, that looks like a classroom or a daycare. You are correct that they are at a classroom, right? So where are they? So where are they? They are at oh. a classroom. Yeah. Well, they're sitting at a table. <laughs> that also too. Also too. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Walker, back to you. We have all well, 100 left. Okay. I might as well go for a healthy choice for 100 points, Mr. H. All right, is this a healthy choice? <gasps> oh, you better believe that's a very healthy choice. Riding your bicycle. Mind you, mind you, she she did riding bicycle is a very healthy choice. Mind you, she should probably wear a helmet and she should probably have that hand on the handlebar. Right? <laughs> you <laughs> are correct, Mr. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right on, right on. And back to Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, which category would you like? Uh, give me WH pictures for 100, please. Okay, here we go. All right. What was my question? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I had them down. All right, okay. How many students have short sleeve t shirts? One. One, yes. So you kind of got to look around, kind of like Mrs. Labuke's. Uh, that was that. a tricky one. I so think I should this, get extra points for that. <laughs> this gentleman is wearing a short sleeve t-shirt and it looks like all the rest of them are wearing long sleeves. It might be like a fall day. Way to go. All right, Mrs. Walker, Mrs. Walker, which category would you like? Let me try and name that character for 100, Mr. H. All right, Mrs. Walker, who is this? Oh, I know who that is. That's Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. Ooh, we needed a miss there, Mrs. Bailey. <laughs> All right, yeah. last but not least, Mrs. Bailey, who is the teacher in room 39? Is that Mrs. Penner? Mrs. Penner, yes. you got it. All right. So, friends at home, that is our board. And final totals, we have team one, Mrs. Walker, with... 3,100 points and Ooh. team two with 2,900 points, Mrs. Bailey. So that means your winner today is Mrs. Walker. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> Mrs. Walker. But you know what? Even though Mrs. Walker uh, won that match, I think we all had a good time and we hope you had a fun at home as well, answering along with us. So friends at home, that was a fantastic Jeopardy match. We're going to bring up our schedule one last time here. We are going to check off our game show. And we are going to move on to a goodbye. So this is just an opportunity for our friends in the chat with us today to say so long for now. And we're going to start off with um, Mrs. Walker. Any parting words today, Mrs. Walker? Well, I just want to say goodbye and happy summer to everyone. I'd like to ask everyone to try to keep active and spend time outside and to stay healthy. 
Beautiful, beautiful. And how about you, Mrs. Bailey? Any uh, parting words for now? I think what Mrs. Walker said was pretty good. Uh, go outside and smell the flowers. Yes. Beautiful. I love those messages. As for me, folks, um, we will see you um, a couple more times this year. Um, hopefully I can bring a couple more guests along the way. Um, goodbye for now. Try and get some fresh air. It is starting to look like it's going to be a nice day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.